Hi, I'm Tim Crawford and want to demonstrate today uh, how to sharpen the flex cut tools and uh, gouges and V-tools uh, with the slip strop and with the compound and their uh, block uh, which comes in this kit. And just to sort of show, these are the profiles uh, that we'll be using and here's some compound and when you need to uh, just put the compound on the leather, uh, the back leather area is where you'd be sharpening your knives and also then the surfaces of the, the gouges. So you put on the compound and put it on very liberally. Uh, just keep rubbing it back, rubbing it sideways uh, within in different angles to work it in and work in uh, very liberally uh, into, the, into the leather area. And to sharpen then uh, the knife, you're going to be coming away from the cutting edge. So it simply takes strokes back and forth. And you constantly make those strokes back and forth, getting the entire blade uh, onto the leather and stroking it. And then all you do is repeat by putting more compound on and keep strapping just show you here how nice and easy and with flex cut they come sharp and they're very easy to maintain one of the things that we will uh, be also is their straight knife strop and there again you need to put on a very liberal amount of the flex cut compound this is actually an aluminum oxide and titanium oxide. Our compound can be used for any carving product. Uh, the FlexCut Gold uh, also comes in a larger bar for the replacement uh, uh, bars. But just put a liberal amount on and you're going to take your knife and it's actually what you want to do is keep the angle of the bevel on the blade at the exact bevel that you're going to be honing away from the sharpened edge here. And it happens to be 15 degrees for uh, flex cut tools. So that angle is going to be consistent not only with the knives but with the gouges. And a few strokes and you have your knife back to where it's extremely sharp and goes through the wood and makes a nice clean cut all the way through. To sharpen a gouge, there again you want to keep the same angle which is a 15 degree angle for flex cut and you simply want to start with the gouge. You're going to start at the outside edge and roll in. Then you start on the opposite corner, outside and roll in. Outside and roll in, outside and roll in. And when you flip it over, a lot of times once you have used uh, the block for some time, you're going to have compound on it. I want to uh, apply, since this is a new block, uh, some compound to the gouge area. I'm also going to apply some compound here to the V-cut tool, which I will be showing and demonstrating here in just a few minutes. Simply take the gouge and when you bring it down, you're going to roll it a little bit across those areas. And basically all you're doing is getting the burr, if there's a burr, on the inside of that gouge. And certainly then, when you bring it to the wood, it slides through the wood and makes a very good clean cut. So they're very easy to maintain the flex cut tools. Let me demonstrate here then a V-tool. There again, you go to the flat side, and a V-tool is basically two flat areas. It's on one side, it's flat, and on the other side, it comes in, and there again, it's a 15-degree bevel, and what you're going to do is you're going to drag away from the point edge, back, and sharpen, hone the one side, flip, and hone the other side. And I usually make a couple strokes, about two strokes on 
each side and flip it a couple times. Everybody also mentions, well, what about the point? Well, if you just keep it honed and sharp, the point takes care of itself because at the bottom of this V. But there again, you have to flip it over. And as I had put a little compound on this V tool area, and this block is specifically designed for the different flex cut angles, and any from even from the mini gouges to the larger gouges. But all you need to do is drag that across the, a few times, and it doesn't take many to on the uh, wood side to get that burr off of there. And there again, then when you start to to use that, you can see how easy it just slides right through the wood. It makes beautiful cuts. Things to remember is that uh, the compound, you use a liberal amount of compound. Uh, always keep it uh, nice. Uh, you can also uh, put this up uh, someplace where you do not get dirt or debris uh, in the, uh, or any grit uh, in your uh, block for sharpening. Uh, remember the uh, 15 uh, degree angle and You'll keep your tools and have the flex cut tools maintained uh, extremely well. The other thing, a lot of times people ask, well, what if I get a big nick in? What if I get a do drop a tool? What to do? Uh, we don't really recommend uh, stones or anything. We would recommend that you go to a power hone, which there again, this is 100% leather. There again, you would put the gold compound on the leather and uh, simply use that to take out any larger nicks. I hope that you enjoyed the uh, sharpening aspect. Uh, there again, flex cut tools come ready to use. Uh, they're made in America and they're very easy to maintain uh, just with uh, the leather strop.